government has suspended the recoveries of money as monies advanced to civil servants in July and August as part of the debt swap implementation. Public Service Management Division, PSMD, Acting Permanent Secretary Peggy Chirwa says the suspension follows a meeting between government and public service unions after concern from public service employees on the deductions. Ms. Chirwa says the government will therefore refund all monies deducted from the employees before the November 2021 salaries are processed. She says the two parties have further agreed to continue discussing the debt swap scheme as agreed in the collective agreements. Ms. Chirwa has since urged all public se sector employees to remain calm and continue executing their duties as the matter is receiving due attention. This is contained in a joint statement issued to ZNBC News by PSMD and 15 public sector unions in Lusaka. Vice President Mutale Nalumango has called for enhanced financial inclusion for the rural population. Mrs. Nalumango says citizens in rural areas need opportunities to access timely and quality financial services. She said this when a team from the National Savings and Credit Bank, NATSEV, led by Chief Executive Officer Malcolm Chabala, paid a courtesy call on her in Lusaka today. More in the phone report. Financial inclusion aims at including everybody in society by giving them basic financial services regardless of their income or savings. It is meant to ensure individuals and businesses have access to useful and affordable financial products and services that meet their needs. Rural communities, however, have less opportunities to access financial services, a situation that Vice President Mutaliana Rumango is concerned with. Help us understand, help me in particular understand exactly where we are in this issue, which was an issue that uh, indeed became necessary even through an act of parliament that you were born mm -hmm. so that you could give financial services to the people okay. and I believe for the people in uh, in uh, particularly in some of the rural areas. Mrs. Nalumango wants banks like Natsev to continue being innovative and enhance financial inclusion. Uh, it is important for me, that's why I appreciate it, this courtesy, for me to understand a bit mm -hmm. on how far you have gone mm -hmm. and how you intend to continue, hopefully to expand, not to diminish in the face of so many, you know, uh, financial institutions. And NATSEF Chief Executive Officer Malcolm Chawala, who led a delegation from the bank to Mrs. Nalumango's office, said his firm is championing financial inclusion. And then we have the rural account, specifically again to drive financial inclusion uh, for our country folk that are out there in the rural areas. And um, when we talk about financial inclusion, uh, we always want to also marry it with uh, financial literacy. You, you know, educating our people around the importance of savings. Financial inclusion aims at ensuring universal access to financial services, providing a basic bouquet of financial services, financial literacy and education, among others. Mary Kachepa, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe.